Hey guys, welcome back to another video about custom rooms in my channel and today it's time for reviewing one of the first custom rooms that came out and was very popular back in time, the Bliss Room. So if you guys don't know that this room came between 2016 to 17 which were the golden years of the custom room community and since then it has marked its spot as one of the most stable rooms with bunch of features and smooth UI. So today we will be reviewing its latest update which is its initial Android 15 update. So as you already know that I will be talking about everything starting from its UI to its performance including its battery backup so stay with me until the video ends and by the way if you are new to the channel then please make a sub right now for the latest videos so let's get the video started so firstly starting with this ui design so the settings ui is really clean and it reminds me of the oneplus settings ui and when you check the about phone section you can literally see that they have done a pretty good job right here and as i already told you that this room is based on the latest android 15 qpr1 with january 2025 security patch and by the way this is an unofficial build but more likely I would say it's a pre-official build cause I talked to Frost who is the maintainer of this room and he said that the next build is gonna be official so yes you can expect OT updates in the future and by the way this room is shipped with the Positron kernel without kernel SU support by default. Anyways talking about the launcher so you get the Blissify Home as the default launcher and for its features so you get some decent amount of features like firstly you can change the icon pack of your apps from here and moving back you can also customize the icon and font size. For the home screen features so you get features like wallpaper zooming, some glance features along with some search bar features like customizing the stroke of your search bar and customizing its corner radius. For the app drawer features so you get some features like forced themed icons which generate themed icons for those apps which don't have themed icon supports. You also get other features like customizing the background opacity and row height. Now you also get recent menu features including controlling the background opacity and checking the memory info and some other basic features including taking screenshots and using google lens. And by the way if you are thinking about circle to search then it works absolutely fine without no problem and you can also hide your apps from the miscellaneous settings of your launcher. Now for the wallpapers and styles so I'll rather skip it cause you get nothing new I mean you get some pre-included wallpapers and that's it. Now for the pre-installed apps you get the MIUI camera which works absolutely fine and other than that you also get the aperture cam. Huh. Anyways it's a G apps build so you also get some pre-installed google apps along with the google dialer as your default dialer. Now talking about the features and customizations, so firstly when you will move into the settings you get this tab called Blissify. So when you will open it, you get some decent amount of customizations for your system. So firstly when you check the lock screen features, the first thing you get is Pulse which shows audio visualizer while playing music. And other than that you also get some weather features. Talking about the notification customizations, so firstly you get some call vibration features and moving down you also get the island feature for your notification which displays your incoming notification in dynamic island style. Anyways for the system features I'll rather skip the buttons and gestures but talking about the miscellaneous features you get features like smart pixels when enabled shuts down a decent amount of pixels of your screen to reduce the battery consumption. Apart from this you also get the ignore window secure flags and various component spoofing features like display integrity fix feature and while we are talking about it I'll also show you that how it works. Like currently if I check the integrity status so it only passes basic integrity. So to fix this you only need to select the latest PIF JSON file from the integrity fix module or you can get it in the ROM channel like this is the latest JSON file and if I select it and restart my device. One eternity later. And now if I check my integrity status so it passes device integrity oh too which is God. enough to use all the banking applications. So this feature is really very helpful for passing integrity without rooting or flashing any module. Moving down you also get some google photo spoof which absolutely works fine and also higher FPS in game spoof. Anyways talking about the user interface features so you get some features for your QS panel status bar like the network traffic indicator for checking the internet speeds and customizing the battery icons and other than that you also get a lot of font styles, icon pack, signal icon pack, Wi-Fi icon pack, data icon packs, app icon shapes and navbar styles under the theme section so yes that's for the ROM specific features but there are more features left to cover. 
Now when you move into the app section of your settings and move down you can see that finally the sidebar feature has been added and oh, I gotta tell you it was perfect perfect everything down to the last minute details I mean this was one of those features which I was looking for since I moved to using custom rooms and this one is really great like you just need to have your apps in here and you can access them directly from the sidebar just like the floating window you get in the hyperos thank god they finally added it anyways you also get the parallel space feature for cloning your apps and one thing which i have noticed in the display settings is the new screen protector mode which increases the touch response while using a screen protector on your display and yes you also get the per app refresh rate feature so yep, that's all for the features of this room Talking about the performance, so firstly for the N22 scores, I got a score of about 422k, which is again a great score, and I'm surprised to see that after a long time, I had a room with no CPU throttle, which is really impressive. Now for the gaming performance, as usual, I played BGMI, and for the FPS settings, you get up to 90 FPS unlocked. And if I talk about the performance, so it's really great. Like for TDM matches, I got about 58 to 60 FPS consistently. even for longer gaming sessions and for the battery backup so it drained about 1 to 2% battery every match so for me the performance is up to mark so yes that's all for the room and even if i talk about the battery backup so it drained about 8% battery per hour on normal usage and for heavy usage it was about 11 to 12% i'd say so you can expect a decent battery backup from this room So here lies my conclusion if you want a stable room with good battery backup some decent features consistent gaming performance with great stability then definitely you can flash i have already given the room and recovery link in the description and if you don't know how to flash room so i have also given the flashing tutorial link in the description so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so make sure to like it share with your friends and subscribe to our channel anyways goodbye and take care